Hey guys, it's Lucy and today I'm going to be talking all about my running favourites and must-haves. So if you've been to my channel before, hello, hello, you know the drill, come on in, take a seat. <laughs> if you are new to my channel, hello, I'm Lucy, I am on a running and weight loss journey. I started this channel because when I started my running and weight loss journey, I wanted desperately to find someone online who had been in the position I was in, which was 230 pounds and basically no running whatsoever. And I wanted to see that someone had got from there and ended up in a place where I wanted to be, which was a runner and a marathoner at that it turns out that it is doable because I've proved it to myself by doing it therefore I've decided to create the content that I needed to see at the beginning and hopefully I can be that relatable person that understands exactly where you're coming from you are capable let me prove it to you I will be your virtual running buddy I'll be there with you every step of the way but anyway I'm gonna get straight into the video and I'm gonna talk about some of my running favorites First up for me is going to be an obvious one, and that's music. <laughs> I love running with music. I always have to have music on. It, it really, really does help me. Or I also would listen to podcasts. Um, and that's that's really good actually when I do like a slow long run I really enjoy listening to a podcast it just takes you out of it takes you out of the moment <laughs> but obviously when it comes to running specifically I'm talking about wireless headphones now I'm not actually going to tell you to buy specifically buy airpods because I don't think they're worth the money and that's just my personal opinion I've actually ended up purchasing some new ones these ones broke they didn't last long I actually went through quite a lot of difficulty with these so I don't recommend these <laughs> although when they worked they were amazing I absolutely loved them but anyway I've bought some some new ones I hopefully will be coming soon so until I've got my new ones I'm dealing with all the wires and it is so frustrating. When I first started running, obviously I didn't want to spend the money on expensive AirPods or on anything really, because I wasn't too sure if I was actually going to end up being a runner. So, <laughs> but that's another story. So I was using these headphones and I think what happened was I just got used to having that in the way. Obviously, as you're running, they do get in the way and you have to like tuck it in somewhere. And really, they are really annoying. But they do, they do the job, they're just annoying. So I'm suffering the wires at the moment. So basically what I'm saying is, a must have is wireless. Go wireless, you'll be free. You'll be able to do and move around as you please. <laughs> Next on my list, I'm going to say this is a favourite, not, not necessarily a must have, but next on my list is a running vest. Now the running vest that I use, oops, it, look, the wires are getting in the way, see? <laughs> They're always there. <laughs> the running vest that I use the most is my free drain. It is so light, it's comfy, you can get your phone in this pouch, you can still use your phone. So I can, as I'm running, I can just skip songs or check a message or whatever. You have a little tiny zip here where I can get my key. I can put my house key in there. And I have another little pouch for when I go running with the dog. I can put the poo bags in there. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, it's very simple. It's comfortable. I don't have to worry about purchasing clothes with pockets. Like this is an old running jacket that I would wear in the winter. But it has pockets in and I can put my phone in here and I put my key in the other one and zip it up, but it, it bounces. It's not, it's not comfy. So I would prefer actually, if I was to go in the winter to have this on my top underneath and put this over the top rather than put it in my pocket. It, it's that comfy, it's that good. The next kind of running vest, you would have seen this in pretty much all of my run with me's. <laughs> you can get tons and tons of these. There's so many of these styles and kinds of running vests and they are so, so good, especially for your long runs. I mean, this is, this is actually second hand from my husband and I just love it so much. I don't feel the need to get a new one, to be honest. This is broken. Um, <laughs> We'll just ignore that. Yeah, there's pockets in here. There's obviously a place for your drink. Next side, another drink pouch, but I tend to put my phone in this one and I can tighten it up, which is ideal because the phone, it will bounce straight out. <laughs> I can shove gels in here with my phone. I can shove tablets. Sometimes I take headache tablets with me. There's actually a little, little whistle with this one. <laughs> Don't know why. Don't know why I would need that, but it's in there. And of course, in the back, you can put your um, your bladder, I call it a bladder. I don't know if that's actually the right term for it, but your pouch of water. I'll have the bladder and then obviously like, the tube will come out here and then I will have it wrapped around here and then I can just 
have a drink, have a drink. You might have seen that in some of my videos, but yeah, long runs. This is perfect because you can pack all the gels, have all of the LucasAid, the energy drinks, whatever you need. You can fit it in there. And when I first started running, I was really against vests because I wasn't used to it. But I tell you now, there is something really satisfying about packing a running vest or packing up a vest, clipping it onto your body and running off. I don't know what it is about it. It's kind of like you load up the car full of your stuff and you drive off, except you're the vehicle. I just feel like there's something really, really nice and satisfying about, about that. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, my next um, favorite, because this definitely isn't a must have, is going to be Gymshark leggings. Now I am going to be specific with the brand here because this waist, is tight and it's comfortable these are the most comfortable leggings i have ran in worn they are amazing they suck you right in now listen i have a bit of a gym shark hack well i don't i don't really i don't know why i said that <laughs> basically what i do is i know the style of legging that i want it's always going to be this type of legging and i wait and i wait I do not pay full price for any Gymshark item that I own. If you've seen me in a Gymshark item, I've bought it in the sale. I personally don't think they're worth the extortionate amount of money that they sell them for, even though I love them so much and I don't run in anything else. I just wouldn't pay like 40 or 50 pounds for these leggings. So wait till the sale, Gymshark have regular sales and just keep looking on the website as well. Sometimes I've got lucky and I've been on there and these have been 20 quid, so bargain. And next on my list is Gymshark again, <laughs> it is their shorts. Now this again has the waistband that I was telling you about, super super strong, sucks you in, it's really comfy. I'm coming from a place where I'm overweight and I run, I don't have that flat stomach so i need this is what i need <laughs> for me to be running so i can run freely and not have to worry about any jiggling or anything like that these have solved that problem now again specifically with these shorts these are um the cycling short style but cycling shorts are an actual thing they have padding in the bum and like around the groin obviously where you're on the bike and you need that padding these are just in the style of cycling shorts you would have seen them i feel i feel like everybody wears these but these are really good because the legs they stay down and they suck you in they're really really comfortable on a traditional type of shorts i've worn those out before the legs will rise and my legs will rub together and probably ran outside in those style of short well regular shorts once and it was probably one of the worst Worst runs I've ever had <laughs> it was so uncomfortable yeah they didn't work these these game changer you will feel incredible in them next up is a sports bra now not specifically this one uh, I'm just showing you because this is the one I had clean and ready to go <laughs> this is my sports bra what I'm telling you is don't spend loads of money on sports bras I think they are just ridiculously overpriced for what they are my little hack and my must have for this video is I just realize this is only going to be for the brits maybe there are other stores maybe like in the us or wherever you're watching sell cheap sports bras it's just i don't know the stores so i can't suggest them <laughs> wherever you are your version of primark get the cheap sports bras my trick is get the smallest size i can squeeze myself into because that's basically all a sports bra is really it's just to to keep keep you in keep you in place i've got this i bought this sports bra i believe it was two pound i bought it ages ago now and i got it in an extra small now i'm not an extra small woman but i need it to i need an extra small in a sports bra so I tried it, I was like, let's just try it, it's two pound. And it's amazing. I'm actually, I'll tell you how long it's been. It's been, it has been a year because I ran my first marathon in this. Yeah, and I'm still using it now. I'll probably run my next marathon in it as well. <laughs> so don't spend a lot of money on expensive sports bras. I think that's a lot of thing that puts beginner runners off as well is um, it can be quite intimidating when you look and see if you can find sports bras or they're sort of 60 quid or I'm gonna need some running leggings or that's 50 quid Ugh. anyway just don't spend the money just go and, go and get a cheap one and get it as small as you can squeeze yourself into <laughs> you'll be laughing right I'm gonna finish on 
my absolute favourite, favourite thing to have for my runs. I'm obsessed with them. They are stupid expensive, so I don't actually suggest you run out and get them. But they were a treat from my husband and I will be forever grateful because they have changed the running game for me. I love them so much. They are the best, the best. And when I'm planning a long run, or if I know I'm gonna, if I keep thinking, oh, I'm gonna have a bad run, I make sure I wear them and they make my runs good. They they are so, so good. And they are the Nike Alpha Flies. Now, the bounce that these give you, they are just so comfortable. They are the best trainer, the best running trainer. I've been through quite a few trainers and they're the best, <laughs> absolute best. I'm gutted that they, they've not gonna last forever <laughs> i could have them forever i would the the way that they're shaped helps you run the bounce helps you run every pb i've had since purchasing this shoe has been done in this shoe you know i do have other shoes but all my pbs are done in these i always run quick and if i want to go for a long slow run or a slow run if you want to do like a recovery or something i don't put these on because it's hard to run slow in these that's how good these are love 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 alpha flies and i think they look good as well yeah so that is my running favorites and must-haves all these things combined have made my running so much better and so much easier and it's it's helped me get rid of a lot of excuses that i would have had to not go see the alpha flies have been incredible they've been an absolute treat running without the wires definitely made a difference to me having my running vest has definitely made a difference i absolutely love it because i've got no excuse to come back and get a drink i've got it all everything i'm gonna need i've got it on me and i can just go but let me know in the comments below if anything i've said helped you or if hopefully I've, my channel has encouraged you to get your trainers on and get going make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and i will be with you next week with some more updates bye guys